Kings Park. Apparently, that's pretty good in Central Park. Don't really love eating food on the plane, so breakfast before the flight. Mm. Anyway, I have to go back to Seattle because there's this whole issue with my license plate. There's some mail I need to pick up from the old address. Also, of course, gotta go eat. See what are new places that opened up since I left. Anyway, before heading off to the airport, big shout out and thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video and continuing to support my channel. I've been talking about Magic Spoon for about a year now. Basically, anybody out there who's like me, obsessed with cereal, I miss cereal so much. But I know as I'm aging, I am aging. I just can't eat cereal that much anymore. Then, I found this thing. First of all, tastes great. Also, zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, only 140 calories, only four net carbs per serving. It's gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and if you're on the keto, diet it's keto friendly they got awesome flavors my favorite still peanut butter where you can go for the original flavors like cocoa fruity frosty and there's other great flavors like cinnamon blueberry all awesome this is just my favorite so if you want to give it a try and build your own variety box just use my link down below use my promo code mikey chen and you'll get five dollars off if you don't like it for whatever reason they got a happiness guarantee a happiness guarantee what's this like disney don't like it for whatever reason get your money back so click the link down below use my promo code mikey chen and get five dollars off today also good news if you're in canada they now ship to canada all right gotta get up catch a flight see you in seattle Forgot how early everything closes in Seattle. I'm trying to find a place to eat. It's about nine o'clock. Everything is closed. There's a new happy lamb. It's so quiet in here. This is a perfect first meal in Seattle. It's finally chilly outside. It's jacket weather here. If memory serves, this is a great buffet. I gotta go get sauced up. Water boil peanuts. Garlic, Logan, dates, goji berries, scallions, spicy side, all that, plus, of course, a ton of chilies. That's delicious. That broth is really, really good. Mm. It tastes different than. Mm. Other oh, this broth is so good. The, the, the non spicy one. Wow, usually I don't give compliments to non spicy hot pot broths, but that's a really good broth. Be honest. Is my broth better or this is better? My broth is better. My broth is better? Obviously. I think so too. This is pretty good though. Mm. The pin sauce is good. I remember this. This is their quality fatty beef. Mmm. This is the best. Let's keep filling up on this. It's an hour before this place closes, so I have at least five or six rounds of this. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Huh? How good is this? Like, this is good, but this is spectacular. Hmm. Cilantro lamb meatball. These are awesome. Fish balls with fish roll inside. It's like you're eating a pregnant fish ball. Pork wontons. Fresh noodles. This looks really good. I think this is the marinated beef. Beef marinated in garlic. Mmm, this is ridiculously tender. This is so good. Not a single bad bite of meat. Getting off the plane, driving into downtown Seattle, coming into the International District, Chinatown. It felt so good. This is your favorite city too, right? Mmm. Mm. Look what I just brought over. Lamb leg, covered in cumin and spices. Look how delicious that is. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Oh, this is good. I forgot whether I was eating a lamb leg or a cotton candy. That's how tender this is. Wow. Watch this, watch this. You don't even need to bite down. It's really crispy on the outside. Inside, just nothing but tenderness. I just lost interest in a hot pot. I never lose interest in a hot pot. 
Guys, be really careful. If you get this um, fish roll fish ball, I bit into it, squirt it all over my face, like blisters all over my face. I kid you not. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Fish roll inside. I like to dunk this back in once it's open. Get that nice and soupy. Mm. And they got extra seasoning. So if you run out, add some cumin and chilies on there. Mm. Going for another bite. This is the best. Oh, my favorite part. Fresh noodles. Oh, those are good noodles. Bottom of the broth, all the ingredients is cooked through. Noodles at a perfect al dente. That's what you gotta do before going to that chilly night. I'm actually so excited for that chilly evening. For here out there, we're in a bowl of hot pot noodle soup. You're gonna feel great. I think there's a bubble tea place open around here. Ah, oh, so nice to be back here. Wish I came earlier, so more places are open. Gonna have to come back for some noodles. All right, hotel, and then tomorrow, a very special Airbnb. Oh yes, smoked salmon belly. Got a scallop salad, and these are the baked oysters. Never had this before. All right, take this. Don't eat the skin, eat that. Take bits of that. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. Take a bite. Mm. <laughs> How good is that? Candy. Yeah. Didn't it melt in your mouth? Mm -hmm. I thought salmon was only good raw. Mm. How smoky is that? I'm interested in this. Look at this. Baked oysters, they put some kind of like crunchy bits on top. Mmm, like a spicy mayo with little Rice Krispie bits on top. Mmm. I love how everything here, it's got a nice Asian twist to it. I love coming back here. Every single time I'm in Seattle, I love coming back here. Mmm. Oh, wow. So good, right? Yeah, so good. Mm. Oh, I miss this place. It's 11.30 though. Next place we go to, best chicken sandwich. Maybe I've ever had. We gotta call like right away and, and, and book one because it takes about 40 minutes to cook. Oh, once you taste this chicken sandwich, you'll be booking it. Like you will make holidays around it. You will. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Best chicken sandwich. It's gonna have a nice picnic here in uh, Gerber Park. There's a bench. Actually, I'm just gonna do a little on the hood dining. I love, love fast chicken. I got some new things this time. Cause you know, if something tastes good, you wanna try the other stuff. I got cornbread. This is the honey butter biscuit sandwich. I got biscuit and I got gravy for the biscuits. How absolutely amazing. One of the regular biscuits, flip it over. Yeah, uh, biscuits and gravy. Look at how thick that gravy is. Cornbread. Oh, that is delicious looking cornbread. Woohoo! It's just oozing love. They told me this is Hennessy butter. Oh, these are beautiful looking. Ready? Oh. Yeah, I thought some was gonna bake down on this chicken sandwich like it did Simba. You know, when Simba was held in the air, like I thought angels were gonna sing, ray of sunlight. It is Seattle though, so the ray of sun is a little too much to ask for. How beautiful is this chicken sandwich? Let me get you guys a close up here. Honey biscuit, delicious piece of fried chicken. As simple as that, it will blow your mind. Gotta eat some of the other stuff first just to wet the appetite a little bit. Try it.
Oh, God. Oh, this Mexican gravy is delicious. The gravy is spicy. It like nibbles you right on the tip of your tongue. The more you chew, the spicier it is, right? Biscuit, absolutely toasty on the outside. So warm and flaky on the inside. Mmm. I want to try this. Look at this cornbread. Holy moly. Yeah, with stuff oozing out of it. I don't even know what that is. Mmm. A little Hennessy butter. Butter is butter, so wait, good. Horse, cheesy grits. You call cheesy grits oatmeal. That's no, like, like the worst thing to call corn, cheesy grits. Oh, that's great. That's delicious too. I'm like speeding through all this stuff because I want to get to the main event. Glistening honey glazed biscuit sitting on top of delicious giant fried piece of chicken with spices all over it. Honey covering both sides of the biscuit. Take the first bite. I want you to enjoy the first bite of this beautiful chicken sandwich. She has to work her way to the chicken because that chicken is so big. <laughs> is it not one of the best chicken sandwiches? You've ever put in your mouth. Sweet and salty. Mm. <laughs> Sweet and savory. There's just like an extra flavor bomb in here somewhere. And the chicken patty is so ridiculously juicy. Mm. The biscuit is remarkable. Look at that. Honey butter soaked through the biscuit, making each crumbly bite even more enticing than it already is. Best biscuit, best chicken, best chicken biscuit. Whatever combination of words you want to use is the best. The chicken is so tender and juicy. So tender and juicy. What do you rank this chicken biscuit? Number one. Number one? Uh -huh. 10 out of 10? I didn't think anything was gonna beat Popeyes. These both were killing each other. Would you sacrifice Popeyes to get a bite of this chicken sandwich? Would you stab Popeyes in the back? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? As soon as I get off the plane, I'm like, I wanna go to Fats. Like last night, I was like, I wish Fats was open so I can go to Fats. Before we even got here, you were like, chicken biscuit. <laughs> yeah, I wanna go to Fats. I wanna go to Fats and be fat because that's how I wanna eat. Mm, one of my favorite places to eat in Seattle. Oh, I just had a thought. That gravy is so good. Take some of that gravy onto the chicken sandwich. Mm. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I missed this trail. I once saw a bald eagle um, on this trail. This is a Sammamish River Trail. Like I told you guys, I used to ride here every single day when I when I lived uh, when I lived in Redmond. During lockdown, none of the gyms were open. I would always feel really anxious. So I'll take my bike and I ride in the open air and then just feel like I could breathe again. So if you have to ride this again, even better, riding it with an electric bike. Huh, much easier is that. Huh. The mystery deepens. One, where the owner is, and two, did the owner melt into a puddle of sand inside the sneakers? We may never know. This is gonna be a really unique Airbnb experience because uh, tonight we're spending the night on the Blue Goose. First of all, this is beautiful. Right by the water, there's a restaurant right there. Which one of these is the Blue Goose? It's probably this, right here. Yep, here it is, the Blue Goose. So tonight, that is my Airbnb. And it pours gorgeous waters all around. I have never stayed on a boat before. I never have even been on a cruise. Like, table and chairs on the deck, there we go. This is really, really cool. Let me see. Check it out. Wow. First of all, it's really hot in here. This is more like a yacht. I've never been inside a yacht before. Steering wheel, controls right here. Feels about 15 degrees hotter inside. Table here. Oh, bottle of wine, welcome. Spacious yacht, welcome. Okay, all the instructions are in here and stuff that you can do here. Appliances and power. There's a barbecue. A little seat right here, window. 
One big situation I had about coming here, of course, is uh, the toilet situation. Colors may appear to be just like the kind of however they're much more sensitive. Please only flush a small amount of paper and, of course, no thinning products. It's gonna make sure I have a small meal today. Whoa, they provide kayaks. We provide kayaks. Get out there, explore the harbor. Please remember to wear a life jacket. Please return them to the mounts. Definitely going kayaking for sure. This is such a cool Airbnb, right? Oh, we haven't even got to uh, downstairs yet. Check this out. Yeah. There's a little fridge in here. Okay. Oh, snacks, stove, spice rack, this tiny little kitchen. Bigger than my first New York apartments. So this is one of the bedrooms. This actually seems, it's not big, but it seems very, very cozy. And this is the toilet right there. There we go. Okay, there's the second bedroom. Wow. And another, oh, this bathroom is definitely better though with a shower oh look at that there's a shower right there i think i'm gonna go ahead and forego a shower on this trip because uh we're only staying one night here and this is the view out the window how freaking amazing is that you can just hang on the boat oh that's nice so apparently there are a lot of food options and one of the most famous ones is called Thai Tavern. And I could get there by canoe, apparently. Or I could walk, but canoe sounds more fun. And that is the canoe I'm gonna be taking to the restaurant. The owners of the boat, so they have about four boat Airbnbs here. So Griffin um, and Brad, they're gonna give us a little tour of the other boats. Blue boat down here actually is our family boat. Oh, nice, nice. And this one is owned by Griffin. So here. Griffin, every member of the family <laughs> has their own boat has their own boat so once you get into an argument you're like i'm sick of each other i'm going to my boat yeah, yeah right get to your boat. <laughs> yeah. yeah let's take a look yeah. yeah this boat was built for the marlin firearm family in 1932 uh -huh. they had been selling firearms to the u.s government for two world wars it's 80 feet long Whew. oh this is a beauty Pounds. Wow, you got a dining room down there, it looks yeah. like. Wow. In all the sunny months, these are uh, just Gig Harbor citizens. Yeah. I think mostly senior citizens. Oh, seriously, yeah, they're yeah. going at it. Look at them go. Oh, they're strong. Healthy senior citizens. Oh, heck, oh, they are strong. They are strong. They are moving, aren't they? They are strong. No, I couldn't do this. All right, this is Griffin's new boat. Just hit the Airbnb market. Cool. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you. How right. many hi. followers do you have? Uh, just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. That's pretty incredible. Hello. My girlfriend, Ken's. Hey, Ken's. Nice to meet you. And this nice is her mother, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Nice Hello. to meet you. Oh, yeah, it's so the great. Best. You can just sit here Those and are, just chill yeah. out. <laughs> All right, back to launching this canoe. I think it needs to be on the side. I know, I'm stupid. Oh, there's a jellyfish. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. Okay, I think I've done it. Onward to dinner. So that is the restaurant we're going to. It's called, um, what's it called? Thai Tavern right there. So we have to dock right over there. Ah, never docked the boat before. Must tie up inside space available. Oh, oh we gotta do inside space. I can hear you. Gotta tie my boat up. Ugh. All right, let's go to dinner. 
All right, don't go anywhere. Bolt, 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 bolt. Can you? I'm gonna sit outside, keep an eye on my canoe. Flatbread, steamed clams and butter and garlic. This is called, what is this called? It's called Big Ass Burger. Fries, bowl of clam chowder. All right, we're ready to feast. Only bad thing is, I think my light is dying. Clam chowder, gotta add some Tabasco sauce. Wait, did I convert you to this? You like this now, right? Mm. Oh, that was good. Clam chowder, Tabasco sauce. Mm. Fries really good. Mmm. Flatbread is excellent. Mmm. What I'm most excited about though is big ass burger. Woo, that is a big burger. It looks like bacon and what I think is a layer of cheese. Oh, that nice juicy patty. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's a delicious burger. Oh, I forgot about the clams. Mm, not everything is so fresh here. Getting a little dark here, so we gotta finish up, head back to the boat. Good morning. About ready to head out of here. Ah, let's go hiking. So I'm on my way to North Cascades National Park. This park is beautiful. On the way there, you gotta get some food. Best place for sandwiches in Seattle. Right there, right there, sandwich house. They do the best Japanese sandwiches. You gotta do the egg sandwiches. If you want dessert, you can do strawberry too. There's red bean, black sesame cream. I'm gonna do that today. All right, thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Closest you're gonna get to a Japanese sandwich outside of Japan. Hmm. Mm. Mm? Mm. Oh, so good. So creamy. And bread is so delicate. <laughs> we just polished out four sandwiches already in like five minutes. This is one of my favorite things here. Mm. Ah, so good. Right? This <laughs> is so good. Mm. Amazing. They're putting some much cat. Now we're ready to go on a hike. It's not like a long hike. It's like an hour. So we're going to bring like three sandwiches with us so we don't get hungry. This is how Asians hike. I think we bring more food than anybody. If you ever see tea egg peels along the hiking path or orange peels, it's probably Asians. About an hour away from the park, starving for some reason. I feel like I just ate like five sandwiches. This is on the side of the road. Burger, fries, and drink. It's definitely not a cheap burger. About 17 was it 17 dollars? But with the home meal. Before tax, I think it's 14 dollars. I got an extra sauce. So it's definitely not the cheapest burger. Before you go hiking, you gotta eat. That's right, I think I hike so I can eat more. That's an excuse. It's not even a difficult hike. Wow, that burger. I now know what you to live feels like. So a little calculation error. Uh, the trail we were trying to go to is close. It took a lot longer to get here than, than I thought. It's already like late afternoon. So I know we ate and stopped for burgers out to fuel for the hike. No, that's just gonna be for fun. I'm just gonna stay here and probably, you know, look look at pretty stuff like this for a little bit. And then I'll head back to Seattle for dinner. That is so nice. Not as long of a hike as I planned, but still gotta eat. Mm. Food definitely tastes better when you're looking at something equally beautiful.
dinner is back at the hotel room and got some food from Jiu Wei or Nai Wei. This is the Mao Cai. So this is like pretty much a portable hot pot with a bunch of veggies and meat. And this is going to be really, really spicy. This is one of my favorite dishes of theirs for dry beef noodles. And this beef noodle soup. That's one of my favorite noodle dishes in Seattle. This one? Mm -hmm. right. What are you eating right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright? Mm -hmm. How good is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It doesn't look spicy, but it is. Oh, this is so good. Yeah. Are they homemade mm. noodles? Yeah. I really miss this. Oh, that's so good. That's so beefy. I forgot how good this was. Mmm. Beef is so tender. Mmm. This is multi. This is pretty much like a portable hot pot. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Everything here is so good. One of my favorite Chinese restaurants in the greater Seattle area. This place. Still tastes as good as when I left. Anyway, long but fun day. Long drive, didn't get to hike the trail. I didn't really think about it. I didn't think trails might be closed in late September. Still really fun, hiked a little bit. Got some sandwich on the beach. Overall, lovely day. All right, we gotta eat up because we're starving. I don't know why we're starving. We just ate like eight, nine <laughs> sandwiches. Anyway, see you in the morning.